Hello, uh, it's uh, just Super Roach here again. Today I'm going to be talking about a new case for the Raspberry Pi. So, quick run through if anyone hasn't seen these before. It's a um, very cheap, small ARM based uh, computer. They're intended for educational use, but geeks love them because they're cheap, small, and lots of fun. This case is a paper based one. You can print them out real cheap, but it looks kind of dodgy. So, we're here for something a bit different. So, today we have the Pibo case, which you can see down here I've just received. So, I'm going to build it on the camera and see if it all falls apart or it's pretty good. So, the intention behind them is that these parts here, they all stack together to actually be a um, case. So, it's a um, innovative way to make a case very strong and easy to ship because uh, that's how I received it. So, it was um, pretty pretty easy to um, send across because it doesn't have its shape. You get to build it up. So, I'm just taking apart the Raspberry Pi now. Don't need the. Um... So, yeah, there's the Raspberry Pi. I'll zoom in again so you can see what it looks like. So, that's your bag of fun that you get to. Um, pull your parts in, so that's the Model B, which is what this is for, and here it is, so. Okay, so let's build this thing. We've got the Raspberry Pi here, we've got all the pieces and stuff. If you're wondering about the skip, by the way, um, I made a pretty funny error, so if you watch it at the end, I might slip that in about what I've done wrong. So I basically had to take it apart. Kind of funny. So let's build this thing from scratch. We'll go as quick as we can. First time around, I took 10 minutes because I was talking at the same time. So, yeah, let's go. So, the bottom is uh, this plastic part here. It's clear, so let's uh, take off this bit. So, as you can see, let's, uh, let's put that up close up, see if you can um, have a look at it. So, it's got these nicely etched uh, parts to it, so you can see that it's uh, very nice. So that's indicating there, that's the, uh, the SD card slot. So, interesting way to package the whole thing up. So let's put this together so you can see where the SD card part is and all that kind of thing. So, first one we have to put this on a clear surface, so done. Next one we have to get uh, the layer 1. So they're actually numbered um, on each of them. And I'll show you on the first one at least where they're numbered. So if you look on the uh, top here, there's a number there. All of them have a number. So they line up. So it's uh it's put on this to see where it goes, but there's also an informative one on the website as well. So number one, that goes down there as well, so the number matches up. So that's all good. Let's just check we're doing that right. So already the SD card slot should be there. And I should be able to read it. Yay! So that's all good. Oh, no. So this is being pedantic here. So I've got that lined up. I can read the text from underneath. So remember that's intentionally upside down. So number one. Okay, so that's done. Cool. Let's just make sure I'm focused. Uh, layer two, so that's blue. So let's, um, let's take off any adhesive coverings. Looks much nicer like that. So let's do that for this one as well. So again you'll see the um, the box on the um, top left with the green one on top. That's pretty much the package it arrives in. It's a very small postage pack kind of thing. Very efficient way to mail this stuff. Very impressed. Alternative to a 3D printing a case. So anyway, I'm going to put this one on, number two, so that lines up with there. Brilliant. Let's do that. Yep, so lines up beautifully. Yep, perfect. So now we actually have to put the um, Raspberry Pi down. So you can see that's the cage there for the, um, the SD card slot that goes in. So let's do that now. You can see that slots in mighty fine. 
Easy. Right, so next one, we need the third green layer. Now this is apparently the hardest one to place, so I'll uh, try and go through it here. Now, I've just realised that my time is running out quickly, so I'm going to try and scoot through this as quick as possible. Which means I'm trying to peel off these layer things really quick, because they get pretty fiddly. So, layer bit coming off as quick as I can. Really could have done that more efficiently. So, layer three, I have to line that up with the uh, previous layers, so just looking for the number on it. Number three, yep, so that lines up here. So, again, yeah, the numbers are lining up at the uh, bottom left here. We line them up. Now this one, best best to slot on just behind these IO things. So it's a little bit fiddly, but yeah. If that's the hardest bit, you're pretty fine. So next up, we need to find the uh, yellow one, if I'm correct. So this is layer four that I'm putting together now. So again, peel off these uh, white bits. Now because this video is running so long, I'll reveal what I messed up wrong the first time around. I put together the entire board without realising that I had to take these bits off. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I mean, it still looked fine, but, you know, it's not that the same kind of cool look to it. Right, so this is getting put on. Number four. This one's on fine. Yep, perfect. So next one is orange. Orange is number five. If I really could do this better, taking these parts off. At the moment we're just clawing at them. So that one is off. Let's put number five on, find the number, line it up. Five lined up. Excellent. Next one is a uh, reddish kind of colour, so this is layer 6. So, taking this off, and again, so you can see I'm building up layers here on top of the, um, the Raspberry Pi, so I've, um, this one's about to cover pretty much most of it. It's a very solid feeling as well at this point, which is good. So number 6, yep, fine. Next one, this is layer 7, so it's a purplish kind of colour. Uh, so, yeah, the colours have to be in order too, by the way. You can't really choose which way they go. That's because they sort of, as they build up in layers, they cover up different parts of it. Like, so the first two layers covered up the SD card. You can't rearrange them in some other weird form to do it. Right, so that's 7. Now, lucky last is this um, glass case. So I'll quickly show you this one. This uh, looks very nice, so I'm going to take the frosted glass look off it, so it's clear. Now some people might actually prefer to keep that on, but we're going for a bit of an experimental forks, I don't know, geeky look. So let's, uh, let's do that. Ah, fresh. Uh, fresh? Yeah, but Perspex plastic, so you can see the Ethernet ports, USB and indicates for what the um, stuff is doing, you know, there's little LEDs. So anyway, that goes on the top. Line up the right way around. Excellent. So that's the part here. So the last part here is these plastic screws. I should really focus in, shouldn't I? So that's what the plastic be on. These plastic screws, nylon screws, go on top of it, like this. And I'll, um, I'll cut out once I've got these done and show you what it looks like. Oh, and also, so I've put the nylon screws through. If you're wondering what this little part is in your package, that's the um, bit that puts the screws on, like this. So, let's put it on loosely. Easy. And then if you want to tighten it up, just use this part. Use your finger to um, lock the screw at the bottom. So I'll just chuck these on. Okay, so here is the case fully completed. So let's uh, zoom in. Check it out.
that looks very nice. Good sort of look to it. So that's the SD card slot there. You can see the uh, labeling. Very nice. The rest of it, very good, uh, very structurally solid. So let's plug it in to see the lights turning on. If we get time. Well, that's a minor bugger. That USB cable won't fit it. So, cool. There's your Raspberry Pi case. Hope you enjoyed. And might as well do a close up of all the other nice stuff. So, enjoy.